Recently, severe drought has hit different parts of the world, leaving people there a tough life. The drought in Southeast Asia has caused the Mekong River to drop to a 50-year low, and the prolonged drought in Mexico has stricken 70% of the country's territory, endangering residents and livestock there. Live Styles has the details. The annual dry season in Thailand started much earlier than usual this year, dropping the Mekong River to its lowest in decades and affecting millions of people living along the river. According to the country's customs officials, trade on the Mekong has dropped by more than 50 percent this year as large cargo ships from China, the country's largest trading partner on the river, can no longer navigate in a shallow water. Peking village is bordered on one side by the Mekong and on another by the Inn River, a tributary. Farmers usually bump water from the Inn to irrigate their crops. But according to Sri Wan Suwandi, a local farmer, the Inn, normally one to two meters deep, is now down to less than half a meter. The crop harvest this season is only a third of what it should be. I don't know how we are going to grow any plants. No water and no rain. If we are to go get water from Mingkong River, it is too far. Also, the water in the Mingkong River is drying up. No more fish left for us to eat. The heads of Mekong River Commission countries, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand and Vietnam, will meet in Thailand in the coming days along with representatives from China and Burma. The leaders will discuss the drought and share river resources for the benefit of everyone living along the river. The Mekong River's low water level is caused jointly by the drought in Thailand and in southern China. Lifestyles takes you to southwest China's Yunnan province to find out the situation there. According to the Yunnan Meteorological Bureau, more than 100 meteorological stations throughout the province have detected drought, more than 60 of which a severe drought. And there's no sign of rainfall in most parts of Yunnan in the next 10 days. According to the Yunnan Civil Affairs Department, more than 6 million people are affected by the drought in Zhao Tong, Qiujing, Kuiming, Chuxiong, with over 2 million of them having drinking problems. And more than 600,000 hectares of crops are affected. The disaster has caused direct economic losses of more than 350 million US dollars, most of which are agricultural losses. A prolonged drought started in Mexico last year and still shows no sign of turning any better. Lifestyles takes you to Baja California Fur, one of the country's 19 states affected by the drought, to see how people's life there is. Earlier this year, an emergency zone was declared due to an atypical drought in the area that is of greater intensity and with no chance of improvement. The most affected is the farming sector as 200,000 heads of cattle are at risk in the state and they have already lost about 15,000 livestock due to lack of water. Alvaro Gomez, the delegate of Sagarpa, the secretary in charge of agriculture, is worried about the issue. The problem we have and that we are trying to solve is the loss of livestock, especially those living on ranch land. Now we've already lost many of them. We've not seen an evident disaster in agriculture at the time, but we know long-term lack of rain may cause a reduction of the aquifer mass. Faced with the drought, farmers seem to have no way out. The key problem is we don't have enough food. We don't know where to find the food, and the truth is out for anyone. It means a large expense, so sometimes you don't have any money to buy food for the family and for the livestock. Local governments and farmers are still waiting for the arrival of federal programs to support farmers affected by the drought.